How you doing, Mom? How you doing, Dad? I got up at 5.30 this morning, just got ready. 5.30 to get ready, okay. Literally. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and your, and your son. I'm Lindsay Morton. This is my husband, Chris, and this is our son, Samuel. He was born on Christmas Eve. Um, he was the best thing, literally, to come out of 2020. <laughs> um, and the best Christmas present I could have ever prayed for. Um, he's our rainbow baby. We went through three losses and two surgeries to get to him, so he was hard fought for and prayed for. Um, he is teething right now, so <laughs> that's exciting. Um, he has rolled from his back to his belly a few times and is really good at rolling from his tummy over to his back. And he likes making all kinds of faces. He just learned how to blow raspberries, so I'm surprised he's not doing that right now, actually. <laughs> no, no raspberries? He's a little bit shell-shocked, I think, right now. <laughs> so how did you choose the name Samuel for him? Well, so Chris and I really wanted something that was biblical and sentimental and something that was family. And so we actually, Chris not, like, he was the most difficult person to come up with a name with. This is the only name he agreed with. So it was kind that, of by that's, default. That's a good thing. So it's a good thing that I like the name. <laughs> But um, for this child, I have prayed, and the Lord has granted me the desires of my heart. And um, First Samuel, what is it, to, I, I'm sorry, I'm not going to lie, I'm in church. So, um, but that and um, after I found out, we decided on the name, and then I found out that Samuel actually means God heard. And that just really cemented it for me, because, you know, we prayed for so long and so hard, and here he is, the proof that God hears your prayers and answers them in his time. <laughs> nice. Question, will he be bilingual like you're bilingual? In other words, you're going to teach him Bostonian? Um, yes, he will be fluent in Bostonian because I'm going to take him over this later this year. So. Fantastic. Yes. <laughs> he wouldn't be my son if he didn't talk funny, right? <laughs> First time I met Lindsay, I go, what's your name? She goes, Boston. People call me Boston. I go, why is that? She goes, listen. I packed my cat and have it yet. <laughs> well, let's, let's get on with this, okay? Um, here's, <laughs> there's a reason you're up here. <laughs> yes. I don't want to just talk all day. <laughs> well, it's, it's your desire, and I know this is, that Samuel would come to know and love and serve the Lord. Mm. And to dedicate him, uh, you have to dedicate yourself and your parenting skills to this, to this task. And when it comes to parenting, there's some advice I have for you, actually for all parents of young children, and it comes in the way of four words, all starting with the letter C. First is, what Samuel needs is he needs command in his life. He needs to know that authority is good and necessary, and as his parents, that's what you need to teach him, especially at this young age. He is 100% dependent on you, and um, the day will come when he will be 100% dependent on God. And God needs to be an authority in his life. So you have to teach him that authority is good and necessary. So that's one thing. Okay. Second letter C is you need to be his coach. And what a coach does is a coach gets the best out of the player. Uh, a coach, as mom and dad, you got to get the best out of Samuel. So you got to coach him with that in mind. Uh, the third C is counsel. You know, as he grows up and goes through life, he's going to face a lot of things and he's going to have a lot of questions. There's going to be a lot of situation he gets in and there's going to be people that he will go to to get wisdom. You want to make sure you're in the front seat on that, on that, yeah. that he comes to you and he's comfortable coming to you for counsel for what he's facing. Um, that's where I think God would desire go to the parents. And then third is you need to be his cheerleader. Uh, and that cheerleading part, the others, may, the others may disappear over time as he grows into maturity, but you will always be his cheerleader for life. Amen. That's what you're taking on. So to dedicate is simply means to set aside uh, or to commit for a sacred purpose. And so I've got a couple questions for you guys. First, Kristen, Chris and Lindsay, do you declare your desire to dedicate yourselves both to Samuel and to the Lord and his purposes? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. And do you promise by God's help to provide Samuel a Christian home of grace and truth where he may grow in the knowledge and fear of the Lord? Yes, yes. yes, absolutely. Okay. And do you agree to model by your actions what it looks like to love and serve the Lord 
by your words, teach the Bible, engage in spiritual discussions, pray together often, and re remain involved in the local church. Yes, I do. I do. Ah, amen. Well, my charge <laughs> to you this day comes out of two passages in the scriptures. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5 and 7 says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Mm -hmm. And then Psalm 78, verse 4, and seven, 4 to 7 says this, Tell the next generation the praiseworthy deeds of the Lord, his power and the wonders he has done. He decreed statues for Jacob and established the law in Israel, which he commanded our ancestors to teach their children, so the next generation would know them, even the children yet to be born, and they would in turn tell their children. Then they would put their trust in God and would not forget his deeds, but would keep his commands. You got a noble task in front of you. Amen. You're equipped for it. We want to do everything we can to support and help you. Thank you. We are your family. Amen. Let's, uh, let's pray for them. Thank God for that. Yeah. <laughs> Could you just extend a hand out to Chris and, and Lindsay? Father God, I pray for this young couple here, Chris and Lindsay. God, what they desire is a noble thing for their son, Samuel. Thank you for giving Samuel to them. Thank you that you've placed Samuel in a godly fam family, Lord. I pray that you would give uh, Chris and Lindsay everything they need, God, to be the parents you would have them to be. God, they've only got so much strength of their own. They need to rely on you, and may they fully, as they raise this young boy, and may we, God, come alongside them, supporting, helping, encouraging every step of the way. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You. Oh, oh. Can we, get one, just one real quick? we can do this. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We're good. Okay.